In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix a common issue where the Xbox Game Bar is not working inside of your Windows 11 computer. It's a relatively straightforward one to fix, you'll just need to follow each of these steps to the end of the video. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and we're going to search for settings and then head over to the settings tab. From the left hand side here, we need to come inside of gaming and we're going to come inside of the Game Bar tab and we just need to ensure that the Game Bar is actually enabled and turned on because obviously if it's disabled, that would be the reason and why it's not working and once you've ensured that the game bar is enabled inside of here it's also worth coming down to the left here inside of Windows Update and pressing this check for updates button just to ensure we are running the latest version of Windows as occasionally outdated software can cause issues with the game bar and other software and applications. So once you've ensured that you're fully up to date here then we're going to head over to apps in the left hand side inside of installed apps and we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this list and at the bottom down here you'll see something called related settings and we just need to come inside of system components here and inside of here we need to locate the game bar and then we're going to select these three little dots to the right of it and select advanced options and we're going to scroll down here and the first thing we're going to do is press this repair button and this is going to try and detect any issues or problems with the game bar and it will automatically repair these issues inside of this window and once you've finished with the repair we're just going to go ahead and also press this reset button and we can confirm just by clicking reset and once again that should only take a few seconds to complete and once you've done that you can close out of this window and we can try launching up the game bar to see if that's fixed the issue if that's still not working what you need to do is come over to your start menu and we're going to search for registry editor and then head over to the registry editor app so inside of here we need to come to h key current user and expand this folder here inside of the software folder scroll down here until you find a folder called microsoft and we need to expand this microsoft folder and once again scroll down until we find a folder called windows and expand this inside of current version and inside of here we should have a folder called game dvr and we don't need to expand this folder, we simply just need to select the game DVR folder. And inside of here, you should have a file called app capture enabled. And we're just going to double click on this file here and make sure the value data is set to 1 and hit OK. Now, if you don't have this file inside of here, say for instance, if I just delete this for a second, then what you need to do is you need to right click somewhere in this white space. Come over to new and select D word 32 bit value. And then we're just going to give this the name app capture enabled and notice how I have a capital letter at the start of each word and then hit enter and then we're just going to go ahead and double click on this file make sure the value data is set to one and hit ok and then you can go ahead and close out of the registry editor and once again we can check to see if that's fixed the issue now if that's still not working the next thing you need to do is head back over to the start menu and this time we're going to search for cmd and then right click on the command prompt and make sure to run this one as administrator. So inside of this window, there's just a few commands that we'll need to type in here. Now I've already got these saved on my notepad over here and I'll leave these in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste them too. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy this first command and we're gonna paste it inside of this window and hit enter. And all this is basically going to do is scan this IE frame file here, which is required to use the Xbox game bar, just to ensure that nothing's corrupted. And then we're gonna go back over to our notepad and copy this second command right here. I'm going to paste this in and once again hit enter and if you get the message saying that it didn't find any integrity violations that basically means the file's intact and everything's okay so we're just going to go ahead and do this last command now and paste this inside of here and hit enter now this last scan here it can take a few minutes to complete so you'll just need to wait for this verification to get to 100% and once you have finished with the scan we can close out of this window and you'll now need to restart your computer in order for these changes to take effect and then we can try testing to see if the game Game bar is working and that should have fixed any issues you were experiencing. Now if this video did help you then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.